In this video we're going to be looking at trace tables which is a big part of um, most GCSE computer science specifications. The AQA for example has um, probably at least a few questions, fairly big marks, this is a six marker, of where you are given an algorithm and you are asked to trace it through. So what you're doing in essence with a trace table is you're doing something called a dry run which is a computer science term. I've got my algorithm here, this is my program, but um, I'm not going to write it in Python, I'm not going to program it, I'm just going to run it on paper, and that's what I'm doing here. So what I've got in my algorithm is I've got my array, I've got a variable called sorted, which is boolean, then I've got a variable called i, then I've got a variable called t, and you can see my array listed out here with the three elements, array indexing starting at zero. Then I've got my sorted variable there. Then variable i is there and variable t is there. So what I'm going to be doing in this table is writing down the contents of the variable at different points in the program. And the program is, the algorithm is numbered 1 to 15 there. There's lots going on in this algorithm. I've got while loops. I've got um, I've got some condition conditions going on there, and variable assignment, and I've got an array. So my job for six marks in the exam is to trace this through and to fill this table up. So we'll start with looking at that. What have I got? Array four one six. Those values have already been written there by the exam board and sorted equals false that's already written there for me so I'm going to start on this second line here this is where I'm going to start writing so while sorted equals false yes it does equal false at the moment sorted equals false okay sorted equals true so first thing I'm going to write is true in there now, i equals two, 0. So i equals 0, and 0 is going to be written in i there. So I'm recording um, the contents of the variable. So at the moment, sorted is true, and i is 0. While i is less than 2, yes, it is, 0 is less than 2. If array i plus 1 is less than array i then right let's look at that condition there of array i plus one okay i is zero so i plus one will be one there so if array i plus one is less than array i yes one is definitely less than four then t equals array i so array i contains four so t will now contain 4 and I'm going on to a new line here okay what I recommend is if you get into a an indentation there that means that you need to start a new line on your trace table the way you're going to be marked for this if we look at that six marks how does that break down well that's could easily just say it's per column one two three four five six so really actually Try and, try and put it on the right line, but as long as you've got the correct values in each column, you're going to get a mark for that. Right, so array i equals array i plus 1. Right, let's look at this. Array i, that's 0, equals array i plus 1. So array i plus 1 is 1. So array i is going to equal that now. So 1 is going to go in there. And array i plus 1 equals t. So t contains 4. So 4 is going to go in there. And what we can see is that looks like that's been swapped. Okay, there's a bit of a swap going on there. And finally, sorted is now equal false. So sorted has gone back to false. Okay. And if i equals i plus 1. So now, i equals i plus 1, new line, i equals i plus 1. As I said, when we 
go to a new indentation level, we might start a new line there. So i equals i plus 1. Okay, well, i is less than 2. It currently is, because it's 1. Okay, if array i plus 1 is less than array i, so i plus 1 contains 4 and i, so that condition is no longer true because um, array this this element is larger than that element it isn't less so I can ignore all these four lines of code there I can go down to here I equals I plus one so I simply write two in there now I'm going back to this while loop okay while I is less than two well that <coughs> it isn't anymore it isn't less than two anymore it is two so that means it isn't less than two if that was less than or equal to two then I still need to do that but now it isn't so what I do now is I go back up to here so while sorted equals false yes it does Okay, sorted equals true. So as I said to you before, I'll start a new line here because I've gone to a new indentation level. Sorted equals true. I equals zero. Okay. While I is less than two, yes it is. If array I plus one is less than array I, well, that hasn't changed. So that, it still doesn't meet that condition. So we can ignore these four lines of code. So it goes straight down to here. I equals I plus 1. 1 in there. Well, I is less than 2. Yes, it is. I equals I plus 1. 2. Now I go back up to here. While well, sorted equals false, it no longer is. It's true. So I have now finished my program. I've now finished my dry run. My trace table is now complete. And that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 marks. Correct values are in the columns there. I may have got some of these in the wrong places, but as far as the examiner is concerned, the person marking this, I've got I've got the correct values in there. Okay. One thing to note, when we got down to here, I didn't say it, but you could have some people I've seen do this question of finished there. Oh, oh I finished now, okay. Um, that must be finished. So I go back to there. Sorry, this point here, they may just stop and finish that, okay get more than half marks there really for that 